Well, I think she's improved her performance in terms of technical skills since the last hearing six weeks ago. She's been working very hard at mastering the knowledge of foreign security and defence policy issues. And I think that did come across that she was clearly much better prepared than she was last time. Nevertheless, uh, clearly she gave some very evasive answers. Her knowledge is still fairly shallow and, and clearly she shows her lack of experience. And on key questions like the one that I asked on uh, her membership of the campaign for nuclear disarmament, she refused to simply say she got it wrong in the 1980s uh, regarding unilateral nuclear disarmament, which is a very key issue given the threat we face from a nuclear Iran, for instance, in future. Uh, also, my Polish colleagues were very disappointed on her answer to the issue of Nord Stream and the fact that it bypasses Poland and it's very much a bilateral uh, Russia-Germany question and uh, she wasn't, uh, as in, in their view, aggressive enough in terms of human rights and democracy in Russia. But nevertheless, what she did have to, uh, in her favour, she was very good at social skills, people skills. That came across her experience in chairing a health authority, she was very good at uh, disarming people, making them feel relaxed and, 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 and laughing with some of her jokes. And she was very self-deprecatory, which also goes a long way in British politics when you can be the underdog, as we know, having been in opposition for many, many years, uh, and now we are ahead in the polls. Uh, so nevertheless, I think that uh, I would give her a bare pass, but uh, I, I have to discuss that with my colleagues uh, within the group as to where we'll be overall. Uh, she's improved, she's growing into the job. Hopefully she'll, she'll surprise us all in future when she comes back with even more experience. But she certainly wouldn't set the Thames on fire in terms of her appointment.